in the moment, it is really, really hard to tell the difference between something that is not working and something that is not working yet. This is, I think, such an important time to talk about thinking long term. Uh, what? Why did you write the book? Why? Why now? I wrote the long game. I'll uh, I'll do the obligatory waving waving my copy around. Uh, I wrote the long game because I think for so many of us we have seen and experienced in our own life that the short term pressures that we face around us are growing. I mean, we see it in corporate leaders who are making ridiculous decisions that afterwards everybody says, what were they thinking? You know, from the Wells Fargo to the uh, to the Volkswagen. And even in our own lives, there is ever mounting pressure from just the barrage of social media about, you know, oh, well, why, why is it going so well for them? You know, why haven't I figured it out? What is it that they're doing that I'm not doing? What am I doing wrong? And the continuing cascade uh, and it creates, I think, a, a very unhealthy pressure because we also simultaneously recognize that most of what is genuinely worthwhile for us to be pursuing actually does take a while. And I wanted to write a book with a long game that actually essentially served as a framework to help people persevere when they need to, because there is often a real gap and it can be a dark place between deciding to do something and actually accomplishing it. And there's a lot of drop off in between then where good, smart people get discouraged, they drop out, they stop pursuing whatever it is, because in the moment, it is really, really hard to tell the difference between something that is not working and something that is not working yet. And so with the long game, I was really hoping to help shine a light on that.